Welcome to Binding of Isaac. We are at a win streak of minus two. We're just gonna go in. Got a pill. Got some druggies. Tears that was down. not a good druggie. Don't do drugs, kids. Got, some, got a tears down. First thing that happens. That's that's uh that's not what you want. But this room is very annoying. I've never, yeah, I've never seen this room before. Very annoying. Ooh, first item room and we get the ghost pepper. As you can see, we shoot out a blue flame every once in a while. That flame does a lot of damage. Hmm. Ah. Oh, that's right, we can kill beggars with the flame too. Oh. That's a... Uh, I always love a free bomb. So the super secret room should be right. Oh, we got the money at least. Should be right here. Ah, oh, should be... Wait, can it be there? Was there rocks there? Close rocks. Super secret room is right here. There we go. We'll come back for you. And I don't think we even got that. Yeah, it was there. I just failed. Ooh. Ah! Okay, okay. That, was, that, was, that was a very close one. Chaos! That means every item pool is re-rolled. It's all jumbled together, and we do not want another tears down. That means that any item can show up anywhere, at any time. Ghost flame, ghost pepper, activate! Yes! Two in a row as well. Very weird look on our face. It looks so cursed. Tear Detonator. Ooh, that's cool. There's some pretty cool items in this game. Death Heart. Soul Heart. And away we go! Super Meat Boy! Take some HP. Don't mind if I did. Now since all item pools, damn it, are, oh, the flame actually destroys tears as well, that's pretty cool, now since all item pools are jumbled, it would be better for us to finally go to the angel room, because it costs hell to get items from the devil room, and it's not even gonna be necessarily devil room items. Yeah, the blue flame destroys tears. I did not know that. That's pretty cool. Damn it. Fart monster. That was my nickname in high school. Damn it! I'm so... I'm so not cautious. Oh well. Things do be happening. Yeah, let's go. Yeah, that was not a good one. I, I really hate... I really don't like the, this boss. I do like that item, though. Trick or treat. You know what, let's just go to the next floor. We don't have to stay here. Ooh, kill enemies, heal. You know how there are just some enemies in, I, I'd say any game that's just infuriating. I find all of the diagonally flying flies to be some of the worst ones. That's pretty good. Essentially, double the money, double the keys, double the bombs. You see? Oh. And I also hate those. The weird spider. 
Where is my shop? I want to spend money. Directed ad stone. Take that as a hint. Sometimes the, the game is just directing you towards the secret room. That's a good place to put this down. And this is a very annoying room. What just what just happened? What is that room? All right, go again. That's actually a pretty nice item. Oh. There are some items that synergize super well with this. Any item that adds like double shot, triple shot, something like that. Monstrous lungs would be good. Quad shot. Yeah, there's there's a lot of good combinations with this because they would all converge in the middle. Pack one big. Thing. I think we got a pretty good stat upgrade to begin with. Like the fire rate is combined with this item as well. Oh. Can get a two for here. Ooh, that was a good bomb. Is it just me or was tinted rocks harder to see before? Or is it just me that just no like Either they never spawned, or I just never saw them. Speed upgrade and a health upgrade. Nice. And away we go. Nice. HP and speed. We're almost at the speed cap. I do not want more speed. I sincerely hate having max speed. Second like item room. Uh, I mean, it's not a bad item, it's just not a very good item. So it just follows us where we move. Could be worse. Tinted rock. Yep. Health is looking pretty good. Boss time. Ooh. Duke of Flies. I feel like the Duke of Flies is boss. It's one of the easier ones, but it's low HP, but does spawn a lot of flies, as the name would suggest. Health upgrade. I mean, we've got six red HP, so we're, yeah, we're gonna go in. And it's Sister Maggie or whatever. Joker card. That could come in handy. Is Secret room here. Yes, it is. Ooh. I want that. Can I get that? We could potentially get lucky. There we go. Finally. I have no idea what the item does. I just want it. Luck up, you feel protected. On the third floor, there's the boss's Duke of Flies. Is this ba the Baron of Flies? Sammy's head. Tammy's head? Tammy's head. This, oh, that worked very well. Will this work very well too? That yeah, worked alright. Ooh, the fly did a lot of damage there. Might as well go in here. Yeah. Scooters. Health. That's a lot of health. I'm gonna come back for that. Alright. One. Two. Three. Let's hope it doesn't spawn. Four. So we sacrifice some health. We make a run for it. We shoot this. Full health. And that's five, six, seven, eight. I'll risk one more. Well, no, now I can. Oh, that's a shame. Now we do this. Now, if we don't get 
the deal with the devil or angel. Just use the joke. A bit of damage up. Oh, angel. We even get blind. Oh, and we can't actually... Usually you're able to blow up the angel statue and then you kill the angel and you get a piece of a key. We just haven't made that unlock yet. I forget that you actually have to lock... Well, not lock. I forget that you have to unlock that. We unlocked Madeline. Huh. Unlocked a few things there. Oh, because we, we got seven red hearts. I feel like that's appropriate to do this then. Definitely worth it. A pretty good damage upgrade. And with flight, getting into the curse room is free. It's just the getting out part that's it's not so good. So we're on caves 2, that's the fourth floor. We've got Pretty decent damage, good fire rate, and we even got flight and spectral here, so we can actually shoot over objects, rather through objects. Tears. That's pretty good, right? I think that spawns flies, or spiders maybe? I used to hate these skeletons, they always killed me. I just have this, I just need to full clear my, my brain. My brain likes it. Oh, I hate peep. I hate this boss. Why are you peeing on me? Stop peeing on me! No devil or angel, but we do get a pretty good damage upgrade. Let's just go to the next floor. And a, a library. Yeah, that's good. That'll do. Temporary damage up. That's a great boss item. Boss killing item. Yeah. Really nice having this parasitic shot. You're getting a lot of spiders and flies. You also do a lot of damage. Finally, got a shop. And alright. Booger tears? Yeah, that's great. That's so good. It's great for killing bosses. You'll see exactly why. And let's donate some money. Secret room? Yeah! The cage. So yeah, the booger tears stick to the enemy and do, and do a bunch of damage. <laughs> Speed. Oh, I shouldn't have taken that. But we do get. I'm gonna take... Yeah, you know what, let's take the sword. It's, no, it's the Spear of Destiny. I'm way too quick now. I don't like this. I'm gonna die. The stars card, let's use it. The stars. That's good. You know what, we've, we've already found what we need. Let's just go to the boss. Nine point... 6-5 damage versus mom. Well, that's an extra speed upgrade, we don't want that. And a juice button. Jesus juice! Also extra damage. Let's go into the place where we were spawned. The womb. I think this is one of the more disturbing parts of the game to be honest. Don't, don't think about it too much. So from this floor on everything does double damage. That gets pretty scary. There's also no item rooms or shops. It can be if you have the right items, but right now we're not going to get them. We just want to find the boss room as quickly as possible. Let's 
get told. Only get shot in the tail. Aren't you supposed to stick your tail up on the ground? There we go. Check. Ooh. Let's do this. Let's turn all of our red heart into soul hearts because we don't need them anymore. And away we go. Where is the boss room? Where is the boss room? I just wanna win. If the boss room is there, then the super secret room is there. Shiny rock, not really gonna do anything for us. Mom's heart. As I said, this is one of the more disturbing parts of the game. Don't think about it too much. Unlocked Eden, the lost baby, and that's that. Thank you for watching this episode of Binding of Ice. See you all in the next one. Bye.